I feel I feel like it's naked and curious. That at least that's Cyprus right now. <laughs> uh, who wants to give recap if a recording is going? Yes, it is. It would be funny so... if I did it, so I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So session one began in the town of Summerport with um, people, lots of people. Uh, including Town's Focus Summer Report and also some other chuckle fucks, but we'll get to the go- we'll get to those later. Um, looking at this woman who coincidentally was also naked, um, and also this woman's corpse who is separate from this woman. Um, her name is Marceline, and she came back from the dead after she died from a snake bite. And nobody knows what the fuck is up with that, but she's not the first person this happened to. And the mayor wanted somebody to figure it the fuck out. And then some chuckle fucks said, "We'll figure it the fuck out." And that's us. Pause. And and we, the Chuckle Fucks, found out that she's the fourth person to have come back from the dead. The first person happened like four months ago. Uh, then there was a set of twins who died and came back. And then there was her. And uh, there's some weird shit. And they keep waking up in a pool. Um, it's a surprise tool that'll help us later. <laughs> and we were like, okay, we are going to take this information and, and investigate our, our tutorial city, and then we're going to leave and go to the south to try to find this place. And we went there, and there were bears. Not at the pool. We didn't find the pool. Uh, there were bears. On the road? And wolves also. And foxes, maybe. Yes. And the bears were definitely super irradiated because we killed them and one of them was growing a third eye and some of them had extra toes. The wolf left. Um, and then uh, we went looking for things and tracks and then there was a big fire lizard and we fucking died except for Scythus who ran the fuck away. Um, but it's cool. We're fine now because of the surprise tool that'll help us later. And a uh Sivas also, I think, found the pool, too, and, like, watched us emerge from it, if I remember correctly. Yes. Oh, yes. yeah. I, I didn't write it in my notes, but I remembered it, because I was like, that's fucked up. Because <laughs> the survival check to get towards town was really bad, and I was like, perfect. My opportunity to make sure the party stays together. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I am a competent game master. Um, yeah, yes, you fun. are. Um, don't be mean to yourself. You are. Um, we you. also, to expand on like the shit that we got, or whatever the hell, um, we got from the old dwarven dude there, um, he had some like tales about the south, or was it the south? I think it's the south, right? Oh, yes. Um, yes. Where like people don't usually go that way because like, you know, it could be cursed, and they're like, eh! You're just being a kooky old man, basically, and <laughs> Cypress was like, Shut up, I wasn't talking to you, basically. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, let the old man speak. This probably has some truth to it if this is what's going on with your village. Except he only said, basically, shut the fuck up. <laughs> let him speak. The old uh, man <laughs> speak just once. <laughs> Um, it was apparently said to be, like, a disappeared old kingdom, um, but, yeah. I... Also, the animals are kind of acting funky, like, they're a little more aggressive than usual, it seems. Like, the predators, anyways. Um, killed, killed more livestock and stuff, but I think that was about it. At least what I've got. Uh, alright, anyone else? Any- any- Anything else anyone wants to add? Oh, mosquitoes. <laughs> fire lizard already. There's a yes. fire lizard. Okay. That's what killed us. Um, this. we did. There was a slight delay between us meeting our new party member, uh, our fifth and last party member. Fifth? Yes. Yes, yes it's five yes. of us. Our, our fifth party member. Um, who just showed up and went, Yeah, if you weren't gonna let me come along, I was gonna stalk y'all to figure out what the fuck was up, because it seems fun. Mm-hmm. Best way to meet people, oh, yeah. honestly. We're also so friends already. That's, I think, it's so important. Yep. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. 
Okay, have I got you set up correctly? If we're ready to begin? Yes. S. <gasps> Excuse me. Renza, Asha, and Cypress. You are all dripping wet. <laughs> Sitting or standing on the rocks just around a bit of under underwater underground water, a still pool at the bottom of a cave, and Sivus, from your vantage point at this at the mouth of the cave, you look down about forty or fifty feet to see your three naked party members. Um <laughs> It is, it is warm and damp. The sound of a few chittering bugs and the buzzing of them flying around you um, is really all you can hear. Um, beyond the occasional drip of water from the top of the cave into the pool, causing slow, slight ripples across the surface of the water. Otherwise, the water is still, pockmarked with bits of algae and what are probably nests of, of uh, insect eggs floating on the surface. What do you do? I would like to inspect the water. <laughs> Yeah. Step one, I'm gonna, um, detect magic. Okay. Uh, uh, Cypress, I want you to make me if there's a... there's anything different from, like, normal water that Cypress would have come around, or if there's, like, anything he can tell either, about it. Either give me a, a knowledge nature or a survival check. Ooh, which one am I better at? Nature or survival? Uh, I'm really good at both. Mm. Let's do nature. I've got a plus nine in nature. Ooh. Okay. That's a 24 for a knowledge nature. Alright. I'll get to that in a second. Mm -hmm. Renza, you pop up detect magic. And... A few things uh, flick into your vision. Um, mostly, uh, mostly coming from the direction of Sivus, actually. Yeah. Um, but as you look over the water uh, and the sort of uh, growing moss and algae and and insects, there's no other. There's nothing else lighting up. Huh. Cypress. Yes. Uh, 24. So. It is not uncommon to find bodies of water underground like this. Uh, it just happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, even its perfect stillness is not unusual. Um... More than likely, underneath it somewhere, there's some sort of underground river or stream or something that feeds the pool from beneath. Um, hmm. And at th and also lets water escape through. Um, the likelihood of it just being entirely stagnant and cut off is relatively low considering the sort of angle of the mouth of the cave, there's not really a good way for rainwater to have collected like this. Mm -hmm. um, there seems to be a small ecosystem formed here. Um, again, uh, the bottom of the pool is sort of lined with moss. Um, and the the rocks around it again also have some of that the moss sort of creeping up and over there's a couple of bits of algae um again there the the buzzing of mosquitoes kind of catches your attention and you see just 
little flicks of movement. It's too dark in here for you to like really like see the mosquitoes rather than just kind of be able to see their movement, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, there are what is probably, um, again, little little clutches of mosquito eggs sort of resting on the top of the surface, the, the surface of the water, as is does happen in still pools of water. Mm -hmm. um, there are also a couple of mosquito corpses floating on top of the water as well. Hmm. Um, Interesting. And as you look down deep into the water, um, I'm going to retcon a little bit to kind of give uh, Astra some time. Uh, you can see deep under underneath the water uh, Elith sort of floating a little bit at the bottom of the pool. But... <sighs> Maybe it's just the reflex refraction of the water and the, your limited dark vision or something, but she was the last of you to die. Um, mm. Or the second to last of you to die. And at the moment, it seems like she is still beneath the water um, and not quite floating up to the surface as you all were moved into consciousness. And something is not right about her body when you look down. Um, I think um, his immediate reaction would to be um, take a step back and leap into the water. <laughs> He's gonna go get Ella. <laughs> okay. He wants to help them! <laughs> He's also kind of curious what's under there. He probably won't be able to see much because water distorts, but, um... And there's no light in here, but, you know. He wants to try and help them. Make a swim check. Alright. I should be good at those. Yeah, I got a plus eight. Come on. Oh god, that rolled off the table. Okay. <laughs> um, that's an 18. Yeah, um... Underground water, um, is, is easy to swim through. Like, it's fine. You can see her down at the bottom, and it's not hard for you to get there. Uh, the real danger with underground pools of water like this is losing the correct direction to get back up. Uh, but with that roll, uh, you're, you are able to keep your bearings sort of, um straight. It is dark down here. Um, and as you get down to the bottom, uh, you find her. Her skin is cold when you touch it. Oh, I will say, Parker, I think it's they, them pronouns for... Oh. I just them. looked yes, up sorry. at the... It's yeah. fine. <laughs> um... Their skin is cold when you touch it, and there's something about what you are touching that isn't quite right. The elasticity of their skin is... a bit too taut. Um, mm. Not, like, shockingly so, but noticeably. And there is... The feeling of under the skin is also... You know, like, when you grab somebody, like, if you were to grab somebody's arm, right? Like, you can feel sort of... Muscle the and muscle bone and, and the fat. Bone, depending. Yeah, you can yeah. You, you can kind of feel, like, what a person's... Like, the anatomy of a person from the skin. Mm -hmm. um, the anatomy here isn't right. In the way of underdeveloped, or... 
in the way of... Well, yes, one underdeveloped. First off, uh, as you go to grab them, you aren't able to get your hand fully around their, like, arm or anything because they're, they're kind of halfway into the moss. And you oh, can't pull them free. So they're, like, emerging from the moss, kind of? Yes. Interesting. Um, but even even then, the, the sort of flesh under your skin, under the skin, is... The wrong consistency, there seems to be more bone than you think there should be. Um, it sort of it sort of depresses weirdly as you grab it, uh, but springs back fully into place when you let go. Um, if I hold my hand there for a moment, do I feel anything shift or like change? No, not in the time I think that you are able to stay down there with your breath. Damn it. Alright. Um. Well, I'm not able to tell if they're breathing or anything, right? Uh, as far as you can tell, they are not. Okay. Well. Given what's there happened. There's no, like. There's no, like, movement of water or air bubbles, like, forming off of their mouth. It just seems completely still. Alright. I think after the last breath, he kind of, like, grunts a bit, and he's gonna go back up to the surface. <coughs> Alright. Uh, your head breaks the surface, and you sort of gasp in air. Um. You'll just, like, take a moment on the side of the pond. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> This is going to sound incredibly vapid compared to Cypress, who just went to try to save our friends. But Asha needs to look at her hair. Uh, the reflection of the pool water, um, when it is not disturbed by the dripping of water or movement of bugs or Cypress. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> is, again, still and able to sort of be be used as a mirror. Um, your hair is... Everyone can see his hair is not that same bright blue yeah. as, as you have seen for the last day. But it is still blue. A, a lighter blue. A bit more washed out. But blue. Uh-oh. I am fascinated by the idea that oh, dying also steals your hair dye. Ah, so it's my it's my color blue where it's very very light because I haven't dyed it in a while. <laughs> a nice, it's a nice powdery blue, a baby blue. Um, Asha is just sitting here like pulling their hair like in front of their face to look at it, oh. and then is like looking around a little bit seems to notice something and my things my things aren't here they're probably still no. in my bodies yeah we're, we're we're gonna have to go back for him my things aren't here you would you like one of my things for a sec no, I don't need your things. I need my things. But thank you. That's very nice of you to offer. Well, Thanks. okay. Let's start with getting out of here, and then we can go figure out where our things are. I might know where they are. Are you good at that sort of stuff? Because I'm not. I have no idea. Cypress <laughs> just nods quietly. I also want to make sure I'm not missing my things. Yeah, things are pretty important. Wait, Cyrus. You have yeah. your things. I didn't die. You're not wet. Yeah. <laughs> We're all yeah. wet. And have yeah. no things. Yeah, because you died. Wet and have no things. <laughs> you had you died. 
It, wow. uh, and now we're was... wet and we have no things? That's how death works, I think. <laughs> Is it? Is it? At, at the very least, the having no things part. When he dies, and now we're behind. wet. There's also one more down there. I mean, there. I. You, it, uh, being wet is not that bad. It's fine. I'm not really that. Op I'm sorry. That probably sounded very wrong. I'm not opposed to being the wet. It's just the fact of my existence is that I have two things that are facts about me, and one is that I'm wet, and the next is that I have no things. Let's let's go get the things then. Because, the, I mean, if you have a towel. No. Oh, I with have no things. things. <laughs> with the but we go get your things, and then we can solve two problems. If you have a towel, if you don't have a towel, we can only solve one of them. I I am sure I have a towel. Okay, then let's go. Have towel. Uh, let's go. Question. While that yeah. conversation's been going on, would I have been able to do the minute to resummon my little guy? Uh, yes. Um, okay. I um, think... Sorry. Cypress, um, you're probably the only one paying attention, uh, as Renza kind of scoots off into a corner and starts doing a little, little thing with their hands and muttering gently to themselves. Would that have been something that I recognized from who I was raised with or not? Nah? Um, make a knowledge arcana. Oh boy! <laughs> um, what's my knowledge arcana? Oh, that's not bad. A plus two is, is better than I thought I had. Uh, that's a seven? <laughs> uh, no? Um, I'm just gonna assume it's some sort of prayer ritual. Alright. <laughs> your, your, your guardian. Uh, as a child, uh, did a lot of magic around you at multiple points. Mm -hmm. uh, the different, the I, I won't be, I won't give you anything about the way, like the the actual magical component of it, but I'll give you this. When Celine did magic, she did it with such practiced ease and fluidity. She didn't mutter, but instead seemed to sing under her breath if she had to say anything at all. Mm. Uh, Renza is... Joe, I'm gonna, like, if I'm wrong e about this... Is I, I will fumbling, correct you if you're wrong about the vibes. Yeah, is more fumbling. Not that, like, they don't... She doesn't know what she's doing, but... Clearly, as much more unpracticed... Mm. Um... Familiar with the ritual she is performing, but it, it still takes her thought and her concentration and her focus, whereas Celine would just do something quick with her hands and then whatever she wanted to do was happening. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um he just kind of like tilts his head a little bit at that, but I feel like since he doesn't necessarily know what's going on, he would turn his attention to like the cave walls and see if there's anything interesting in this room that isn't like magic or whatever. Just if if it, if anything seems out of place or that would like lead a clue to anything here or not. Make a perception check. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's my perception? <sighs> that would be a 21. Alright. Um, the first thing that catches your attention... Um, is that the ground here as you were as you would as you would head up towards the entrance um seems a bit a bit worn like things have been traveling 
um, up and like through this this cave system, this little cave section, quite a bit recently. Do they look this like animal thing tracks? you notice? Uh, animal tracks mostly, yeah. Do they lead um, just from out of here or into here and out? Um, just mostly out. Mm, okay, there goes one theory. Um, the other thing you notice, uh, particularly as you are uh, pulling, um, yes, PK, um, <laughs> pulling yourself out of the pool for the second time, you sort of end up turning around and like to sit on the edge and swing your legs over. Um, one of the mosquito corpses is sort of floating uh, close to where you are getting out, and it kind of moves with the ripple of the water. Um, and I am going to show a little, a little funky lore item to the players. Hmm. All right. So that's interesting. Things can die based what what he's putting together is that things can die that things that die at a natural cycle die entirely. Um. But what he's th what I was thinking in my brain space is that anything that dies, including the mosquitoes, before the end of their life cycle, come back, and that's why there's so many fucking mosquitoes. <laughs> Yeah, that was also sort of my thought. Um, interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like that. I will say, um, between, between your perception check and your last nature check, um, there are a lot of mosquitoes in here. Mm -hmm. Bruh. And as you watch, sort of, one of the living ones sort of lands on the surface of the water in the way that bugs can, right? Mm -hmm. Surface tension. Yep. And you see it sort of, you think it's going to lay eggs, but it doesn't. Instead, it sort of shoots its, its its proboscis down into the water and drinks for a moment before flying off again. Hmm. That's not normal mosquito behavior. Can I... And then another one. Can I cup my hands and sip the water? He's not going to... Like, he's gonna try to attempt to, like, not get weird shit in his mouth, but he's gonna put it in his mouth and see what it tastes like, and then spit it uh, back out. Sure. Uh, it tastes bad. <laughs> yeah, stagnant water with a bunch of bugs in it ain't gonna taste nice. Uh, he, he he was mainly wondering if it tasted like blood or anything different than like what he would expect bad water to taste like. Uh, no, it just tastes bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Um, Asha wants to try the cave water, too. No! <laughs> he, if Asha tries to get close to the water to do it, he's just gonna shake his head and just say, You might die. Don't do it. Oh, well, clearly that's not a problem anymore. It's It doesn't <laughs> taste good. Okay. Oh, I don't need it to taste good. Sip. Yeah. <laughs> Asha, this is... Asha, you have experienced some liquids that you have put into your mouth before. This is- Oh, I sure have. have. Yeah. 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 In my mind, Cypress doing this it's is on par yeah. with, like, the person who, like, goes to some weird, like, uh, like, scat of an animal and, like, you know, uh, <laughs> and spits it out immediately. Uh, that's why he- that's basically the He's Bear grilling it, uh. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, Anyways. Yeah. It, it's what, big, nasty. What do, nice. What do I think of the water? 
Are you drinking it too? No, I'm not drinking it. I as a what? Importantly, not drinking, water, putting in mouth in and life. spitting out. What do I think of this water? Are you coming down to look at the water? Yes, I'm. I I want to touch the water. <laughs> um, first off, it is it is fresh water. I, I'm going, Cybus, <laughs> YouTube blogger, rate and reviewing various <laughs> bodies of water. <laughs> It's like that um, one where it talks about all the types of bottled water. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. First off, uh, it is fresh water. Um, Weird. To me, not in general. Yeah. Um. Uh, again, you can. Your connection with with water. Um. It has that feeling that water gets when there's shit in it. Like, and I don't mean just, like, shit in terms of, like, excrement or random items. I mean, like, living things in it. Yeah. Um. I'm glad you know what I mean, Nocturne. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's got stuff feeling. There um, be organisms yeah. in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Organism. Yeah, you love it when you approach a body of water, you're like, wow. This guy full of organisms. <laughs> yeah. Um, and oh and you can feel you can feel the gentle pull like of probably the water movement that feeds and drains this this particular pool. Um, just gently tugging a little bit. Um, it's probably a good way still deeper underground. You probably have to swim pretty far uh, under the rock uh, to get to it. Um, and frankly, um, you might be the only person who could survive getting to that point. Uh, Dang it! <laughs> you don't know what you don't know what kind of air pockets exist. You don't, if if any at all. Um, I think I can breathe water, actually. Yeah, that's why I mean by, like, you're the only person. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, who knows about cave systems down here? If you find an air pocket, it might just be carbon monoxide and you're just gonna die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cave water, oh. bad news, y'all. If I have to tell- if if this is the first time you've heard it, don't go swimming in cave water. It's yeah. very, very bad for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, cave. don't go in weird po air pockets and if you go in a cave and decide to go spelunking or whatever the fuck. Uh, bad, very bad, terrible, horrible. You can die so many ways in a cave. <laughs> oh, what ways to you. die. They do. Um, Anyways. Oh. And they will. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you, you can also see, um, Elith, uh, down at the bottom and doesn't look like they're going to be coming out of the moss anytime soon. Yeah, I think or Cypress perhaps, would have pointed uh, they'll that be, out. Or perhaps they'll be coming out of the moss in approximately a little less than an hour real time. Um, <laughs> in the, Gotta cook the for moss an hour. With you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Late for game, subject to moss. Be moss. Subject to the moss. Moss, 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 moss. Moss, moss. Guys, That's we get moss back again. <laughs> uh, moss. Yeah. <laughs> I think in the course of this poking around, Ranza has finished this minute. Um, and my, uh, the first indication you guys get is that the marking in silver on her forehead flares back to life. And then you see... You see it, you don't feel it, but it looks as if there's like a, like a wind current that picks up. But again, you don't feel it. It just kind of looks like it in the way that the the dirt at the bottom of the floor starts to starts to kind of swirl a little bit slowly at first in front of Runza, and then speeds up faster and faster and rises into the air, and then sort of coalesces, shifts and solidifies uh, back into uh, uh, Ihara. 
fully with their cloak and it, their their mask already in place. Oh my god, you have things! <sighs> and you see Adhara kind of look around and for a second, and the snake tongue flicks out and then back in, and then sort of turns and lowers it so their mask is directly facing uh, Renza uh, when they say, You live. Apparently. The head tilts to the side. I had you in my arms. And then you slipped away from me. And you live. She she just nods. Uh, she is gonna reach over and um do a little bit of healing on. Arara, because. Ouch! Still crispy! Yeah, they do look crispy. Um. <laughs> well, it seems like they're gonna be down there for a while. They're pretty stuck in the moss still. Um. Not breathing, specifically. But I think they'll be fine, as long as we get their things soon. I think I can lead us back to where we died. Alright, and can, then we, we can- We can bring their things back to them and they won't have to worry about it. Where Cypress we died- is. Where we died- Where we died- Where- I think mm. you should probably prepare to see your own body. That's not- even a little bit of concern of mine. Actually, I'm really excited about that. No, I just want to remind everyone. Of uh, the enormous fuck you fire lizard. Of the fire, yes, exa yes, exactly, of the fire lizard, yes. You Shh. got it. I feel like Cypress just like sighs a little bit. Um, I can and he's just create gonna... things that can keep an eye out and can warn us. If you don't want to brave the fire lizard, we can just go and be quiet about it. I can carry quite a bit myself. And I'm... I just also, do we think the fire lizard ate us? It seems... I hope not. And what? our things. With the way that thing was if acting- they ate our things, Parker, I'm gonna be so pissed. With, with the way that creature was acting, Parker, would I assume that was like a territorial behavior? Where, did it seem hungry, like- Make a nature check. Again. Okay. I understand if I don't get enough for this, but- Oh, ooh, that's really good. You said nature? Yes. Um. That's a 27. I rolled an 18 plus 9. <laughs> uh, it did not seem to be hungry, no. Um. Also, we are. We were tiny compared to it, right? Mm hmm. Cypress... It was a good double, triple your size. Alright. I think Cypress will relay that just quietly, like. It probably was just a territorial thing. I don't think it ate us. We're too small. Probably not enough nourishment. Oh, that does make me feel better because I'm the smallest one, so... <laughs> My body is the least nutritious. Do we think we could... Well... No. Kill it? No, that wasn't at all what I was thinking about, but I like your question better. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't think we're capable. 
I think we could try, though. Not right away. We need our things. I need my things. I need my... But, I mean... I mean, if every time we die, we just come back. If people really have stopped dying. I feel like at that, Cypress just shakes his head and he'll gesture to the pool and just say, When your cycle ends, you end. Sure, okay. I don't know what that means. But I feel like all our cycles just ended pretty violently. Cypress, like, takes a moment like he's chewing over the words, like he's trying to figure out, how the fuck do I explain it to this person? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gonna Ish. say to her, he's gonna be like, If you get too old, or you have a disease of some sort, you will not be coming back. Huh. Well, that's just marvelous. He shrugs. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm neither terminally ill nor at the end of my lifespan. And I want to- I want to see- I want to see the fire lizard again. Um, he will say also- what he noticed before with the tracks and just say if we end that thing prematurely it will just come back and that's it is... a little fun mm -hmm. for you perhaps no no it's a good story you have to admit this is a good story <laughs> He thinks about it for a moment, and then shrugs again. Uh, shall we go make our way up and try to retrieve our things? I think he's, oh, uh, he's heading up there already. The way that Simus <laughs> came from. Uh. Yeah, alright. You all uh, exit out into the sunlight. Uh, it is late evening, starting to be at least. Um, and you sort of exit out onto the side of, of not exactly a sheer face, but a decently steep incline um, up of up a up a pretty what looks like a pretty large hill, if not straight up a small mountain. Um, <laughs> Nice. You can kind of, like, uh, the clearing around, there, there's a small clearing right around the, the mouth of the cave, but then the forest very quickly takes back over. I would like to follow Cybus's tracks, please. <laughs> Okay, uh, make a survival check. Okay. Unless somebody else wants to. <laughs> I think this is your, uh, your wheelhouse. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what was my thing again? I mean, if Atara can give much. you assistance, that, that's probably- Hey, okay, that might work. Why not? <laughs> add it in there. So I had- what's that? That would be like a plus 11 if you're gonna help me. <laughs> if that's an option, is then I will- Is that okay, Parker? <laughs> I will allow it, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's a 29. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, Cybus's path is relatively easy for you to spot, Cypress. Um, Desperation? Very? Yeah. <laughs> um, because he sucks. <laughs> confusion. Not because he sucks. You were scared. He's never, been, he's never been in a forest before. He just watched four people die. 
as he's just fucking running. Um. Yeah. I don't even think Cypress comments on it. He's like, yeah, that's justified. Um. And so, following back, following it back would not be very hard at all. I if that like, is what is desired. I would like to do that, however, um, can we stealth, maybe, perhaps? Because it is starting to get dark, yes. right? Yes. We don't want to attract night creatures. So, let's stealth naked, god bless. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the party, Actually, butt naked. <laughs> my stealth gets better when I'm naked, nice. so... <laughs> Gotta love that birthday suit confidence. <laughs> uh, are we stealth? Yes. Oh, at least we all. Um. All, all stealth. Wait, I'm actually good at stealth. Huh. Okay, Not that, great, but good. Paw, huh, now 20. <laughs> Same! Woo! Most of us get in 20s out here, nice. <laughs> I'm rolling for my little guy, give me a second. Little guy. Who I believe has a higher stealth than I do. Yes, sir. I think it's fun that I have a plus 10 stealth. <laughs> and I could still Alrighty. bump it more. Ooh, those Solid. are good. Um, <laughs> you all start making your way through. Um, Sivus, uh... God bless his soul. Uh, clearly does not know how to move in a forest. Um. Yeah. Listen, if this was a kelp forest, you'd be fucking nailing it, my guy. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd also not be walking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to put my feet. There's too many sticks. Um. <laughs> But the rest of you together sort of manage to help keep each other and Sivus relatively quiet. Um, whether that is Cyprus, you know, moving up a branch ahead and holding it up for everyone else to sort of hold up as you move past so it doesn't make noise, or any, any number of techniques, uh, you all manage to be pretty quiet. Um, until you happen upon the uh, sort of creek bed that you were all standing on when you died. And you find, uh, you find Renza's body first. Oh boy. And that was the one that was launched, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh god. <laughs> and it sure is your own dead body, Renza. Um, hmm. Hate that. It is said very quietly, but it's just the sort of pause and look at her and, hmm, hate that. Uh, bloody, torn open a little bit. Uh, clearly you can see the sort of fatal blow. Um. But there are your clothes. Uh, a little bit farther away is your bag. Um. A little bit, a couple of your things are a little bit scattered, but relatively easy to find. Um, yeah. Adhara kind of spends a little bit of time over your body, actually, um, Renza. Yeah. Uh, sort of... They don't have arms? <laughs> Uh, so they kind of use the the, 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 the very, l like, last part of their tail, sort of curl it up around and use that to sort of manipulate your limbs. Um, I don't know how you like the sight of that, but Adhara seems to just kind of be chilling. Um, 
gosh. And sort of... Without prompting, ends up looking at you, Renza, and sort of... It is yours. It is untampered with. I think that's something to unpack a little bit later. Uh, continuing forward, uh, you quickly find uh, the other uh, three dead. Um, Cypress... Do we not find Ayla? Uh, you do. Oh, yeah, sorry, three dead, right. Because Cyrus booked it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a hembo. Cyrus lived it. <laughs> For now. Um, Cypress is gonna live. Cypress is I'm coming live. for the- I, I'm coming for that elf. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey, ca hey, catch me. I'm- I'm too- Slippery. Wet. <laughs> slippery. Yeah. <laughs> so slimy, me. you can't- you can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like the moss. Yeah. Just like, like the, the moss. moss. Um, Cypress is going to immediately check on the book that he's got there, just... Uh, it is well protected. You keep it well, you keep it well, like, protected within your things. Mm -hmm. And so it, it does not seem to have been hit either by the flame, uh, tooth, claw, or, uh, really anything. Uh, in fact, all of your possessions are in relatively good condition. Because I'm not going to be a bastard. Excellent. Um, Thank you. I am. Um, I am stating this. I am stating this now, so uh, we don't always have to do the song and dance. Um, mm. Thank deaths you. to like bosses or relatively common enemies or like deaths in that sort of manner. I am not going to be too mean about getting your stuff back. Gotcha. If you do something dumb shit for funsies, like. If you're hanging out and you're like, huh, I want to jump off this cliff for no reason, then when you come back, I'm going to ask you how you're going to get your stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you willingly uh, jump in a pool of lava with all your stuff, I think it's gone for good, buddy. <laughs> the solution is to do all stupid actions in the nude. <laughs> yeah. so, Strip first. And, and I think that's a fair sort of, a, a fair balance. Absolutely, oh. Parker, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um but we yeah. that. Um Cyprus is just gonna start fucking changing. A Asha immediately rifling through their own body, like just not even ignoring Shh. the corpse. He's getting his shit. Uh you find your pigments relatively quickly. Thank uh, God. Um I have I catalog my jars. <laughs> Yeah, they, they they feel just as as full or half empty or as they were when you died. They feel familiar. They feel a little warm. That's you know that's fair. Um, but they are fine and intact, and they are yours, and you have your things back. I uh, I immediately start smearing pigment on my body. Before I put clothes on, I'm just putting I'm just putting paints. I had smudges and stains of pigment all over me before, and I am putting that all back on yes. before I even think about clothes. Oh, mood. Okay. Must become colorful. There's I got to I got to have stuff. And then I'm before I I still before clothes, I'm going to in just spend a long while looking at my corpse and inspecting it. Do you want to make a heal check? No, no, this is just like, this is not for any, like, out of character. This purpose. is for the experience of... Asha yeah. wants to look at their own corpse. Um, and also, yeah, Asha is just inspecting it for, for in-character reasons that don't relate to needing any sort of further information about it. She's okay, just I'm looking sure. at it. Perceive. Bobby. I, want, I wanted to clarify. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's your corpse. Nice. Uh, 
damaged and bloody, and there are wounds there. Um, with each of you, uh, Adhara at some point does sort of, uh, sort of come up, particularly to Sivas and Asha, and ask if uh, they are also allowed to sort of um, examine your your corpse. Ex examine away. <laughs> Uh, they, they, they will. They are gentle with it. They are reverent. Um, they also do not have hands. <laughs> Did they ask for me? I thought you had said somebody else. And yeah, Cyprus. Cyprus okay. And uh, Asher. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Cyprus is gonna keep an eye <laughs> out for Fire Lizard while they do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make a perception check. Okay, one second. I wasn't. I've got to finish this one nail. One moment. <laughs> it's nail <Yeah>. paint Monday. <laughs> I will also make a perception check, although I'm not particularly good at it. Mm -hmm. I got pretty good perception. I'm well rounded. Oh no, it dropped on the floor again. Shit. Oh, it was a 16. Hold on. Oh, that's a, That's the worst. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, that's a, a uh, 16 straight. I rolled like ass. <laughs> okay. Uh, eight, Renza, you're not getting anything. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too distracted by the. By your literal dead body. Um, yeah. Uh, Cyprus, um, you don't hear any sort of um, any signs of the big snake. In fact, uh, it seems really peaceful. Um, the sounds of birds and I should not be having the cave sounds. Um, <laughs> oh, I can always turn that I got it. stuff back on. Uh, I had master volume down, so I turned it back on again. You're good. I am not doing that noise. I am doing that noise. Uh, uh, sorry, your computer had to buffer the sound files for a second. Um, <laughs> it'd be uh, like that. You are hearing the sound of, of birds, of sort of night birds, and a couple of other critters skittering, and you don't think they would be doing that uh, if the they, big that giant was an was yeah. lizard. Big bad scary mm -hmm. lizard is not here, assumedly. Um. All right. Okay. Do we want to collect Elf's things and head back to give them to them, or do we want to? How do we want to do this? Yes, we should do that. However, I am very nice to... to just leave them in the box. Yeah, we should give them their items. However, I'm going to check and make sure that that thing is long gone, or what direction it headed. So we can just avoid it later. Can I can I go look and see where those if I can find the weird lizard tracks, can I see where it went so I can avoid it? Make, make another survival check. Okay. <laughs> I don't wanna Oh that's really good. Hold on. Uh survival, so that would be nine. So that'd be a 27? Uh, yeah. Finding it is relatively easy. Uh, the, the tracks, I mean. Um, the... It seems to have been following the direction of the, the creek. Following the water flow. Um, is that water flow going towards the cave or away from it? Away from the cave, uh, t more southerly. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cypress will catalog that and go help bring, uh, the items from, um, the, the dead body oh. that wasn't <laughs> our, our oh, friend's yeah. dead body, God bless. Should we take the whole thing? 
Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We had the same thought. Mm. I don't think it's right to deny someone the experience of seeing your body. Yeah. Cypress will just kind of like nod a little bit at that and then hunker down and pick them up. <laughs> Make a strength check? Yeah! I was plus four for that, so let's go. Oh, but that was a bad roll. Um, that's a that's just a thirteen. <laughs> I'm gonna say you are able to pick them up. Uh, you're a little stumbly with it. Um, but as you do so, do you remember what I said about their body not feeling quite anatomically correct? Mm-hmm. This version of their body feels the same way. Oh, funky. Would my body have felt that way, too, when I felt it dead? No. Huh. Oh, I get- okay, oh, out of character, I, I know what's going on. Were yeah! Robot. <laughs> Me too, <laughs> I did too, until just now. I- yeah, I forgot about that. Um, I forgot they were a robot. They looked but so human! we don't human. know that in character yet. Yeah, we don't I know. know. we don't know it in character. That was why I was yeah, confused yeah. before. I was like, huh, they just must not be done forming. No, they're just- they're just a robot, but, like, we don't know this. Yeah, me just like, they're a fucking android. <laughs> Shrug. We don't know what that is. Let's 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 just bring their strange mechanical body that is, isn't is mechanical that we know of um, to them. Back through the forest we go. <gasps> hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> um. Once we get back to the cave, Friends is gonna see if she can sketch out a um the the route we took particularly since um cyprus was able to lead us moderately directly back to or do you have like a cartography skill i have a compass if we need one <laughs> Well, the necessary oh. No, I do not. I was hoping to do sort of a rough guesstimate, and then we can maybe get an actual map we can compare to later. Okay, I would let you do that. You're going to have to either roll a knowledge geography or a survival. I have great news for you about one of those skills. <sighs> geography. Whichever, whichever one. Technology. Oh, I didn't have it. Not bad. I don't know why summoners get all knowledge skills as, um... As a treat. Boss skills? It's a treat. For fun. They're familiar it's a They're treat! So smart I don't get enough treat. skill ranks to even make use of it! Their they're funky little friends tell them so many things, so they know so many things. <laughs> um. Yeah, you certainly have a you certainly have a map. Um. For between that and the creek. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a good map. We can refine it for on our way. Yeah. A kind of. You kind of managed to a little bit sort of triangulate where you think you are uh, yeah. compared to the route you took in. Um, it's probably not perfect, but it's... Oh, it doesn't need to be perfect yet. It's just kind of a vibe. Yep! Our, this is unrelated. Are fire lizards, like, a common... Thing that exists in this area slash at all. Uh, make a knowledge na nature or knowledge history check. I would love to make a knowledge history check, Parker. I have a question. Yes. What does, like, 
if you have a vulnerability to something, what does that mean mechanically? Uh, in 5e, it's you take double damage of that type. Is that what it means in Pathfinder? I am googling. <laughs> you take 50% more damage. 50%. Um, so if you take 4 damage, you actually take 6 damage. Ah, okay. Um, but if you have resistance to it, you do, like, if you have, if you say somebody gave you, like, resist, like, I have five. resistance five for fire. Yeah. So... Yeah, so if you have resist fire five, but you were also vulnerable to fire, and you got, you took four fire damage, you would, uh, you would apply your vulnerability, so you take 50% more. So you would take six fire damage, but you then apply your resistance, so you take one day, one fire damage. Does that make sense? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So when I took my I, fire damage, I, I, I may have still been up. <laughs> oh, and when I took my fire damage, I should have died. <laughs> God. <laughs> we are um, shaking hands. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is okay, I... because I also played the lizard slightly incorrectly, so we all kind of made some goofs. It's fine. Yeah, We balanced it out, boys. Uh, that's a 34 knowledge history. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the killing starts once again. <laughs> <laughs> no, the killing mine, already mine. began. <laughs> it did. Um, <laughs> Started out strong. That's a very important thing that happened. I get where you're coming from, but he very much did already start killing. <laughs> he did, he did. Do it again. Uh, <laughs> so, fire lizards actually are typically a very specific creature. There's a thing called a fire lizard. Um, what you encountered is not actually technically a fire lizard as traditionally described. Um... So, uh, A, the normal fire lizard is not usually around this area. It is too cold. Uh, B, that's not a normal fire lizard. <laughs> is, it fun yeah. is it funky like it was weird like the bears? I would say even... Fire lizards, the, the creature, the normal creature, the fire lizard, is... There are some debates whether it's a fire elemental or, like, an offshoot of a draconic line. Or, you know, something in that area. Something that is either made of fire or is descended or like a couple of steps to the left of dragons mm -hmm. this weird fire lizard that you encountered a did not look draconic in any form instead just kind of looked like a lizard but big and could breathe fire and was red um b Normal fire lizards get their name because part of them is like on fire, like where where the like lizard frills would be. That's normally flame. Mm. Um, this thing did not have frills nor flame fr fr flame frills. Why did I make myself say that? <laughs> you enrichment. Yes, uh. <laughs> Interesting. So, whatever this thing is, probably kind of like the bears. Cool, we get fucked up little creatures. Yes. Yes, you do. Um, <laughs> Parker loves some fucked up creatures. Me, I've never, I've never DM'd for Pathfinder before. Uh, I'm gonna have a weird time making encounters. Uh, me also starts fucking around with stat blocks immediately. <laughs> I, it also, a thing to look at, Parker. Uh, templates, extremely yes. useful, very versatile. 
Uh, yes. We are going to be shaking hands about so many templates. Yes. I guess. I, I, it I sparks just kind joy. of. I what I did for this one is I took two different creatures and just kind of like squished them together. Them together, yeah. Monster mash. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the mash. The monster. Mash. Um. um so, like, you know, normal things to do for the first time you're ever DMing for a system. Fuck around and find out, Parker. We love it. <laughs> Fuck around yeah. and find out. Thank um, you for the information on the fire lizards, which this is not. <laughs> yeah. I am not technically that. a fire lizard. God bless. It's, um, it's a reptile that, it, that has flame involved. Yes. It was just they easiest to call fire. Spicy lizard is what it is. A spicy lizard. Yeah, this one's a spicy lizard. Not to be confused with a fire lizard. Yeah. No big, fire. Big fire um, lizard. Yeah. So I start heading back to the cave so we can give Elith their stuff back and let them poke, possibly poke and prod at their corpse if they're inclined. Yeah, or we can leave it with the... I, sorry, I was gonna reply as me. Um, Cy Cypress will just nod. <laughs> me, um, I am very animated. Cypress is not. <laughs> uh, by the time you get to the cave, the sun is very solidly starting to to set. Um, And you don't quite know how long uh, in game it will take for Elith to emerge. Uh, it will probably take about twenty more minutes for Astris to get here. Um, I, I feel like it might be um, wise for us to start setting up camp maybe outside or a little bit. Away. Yeah, figure oh, out somewhere that we can maybe keep a little, spotting a little away from the cave. I was thinking because things pop out of there, assumedly, um, and we don't want to be yeah. there when the bears arrive. If they've, they've probably already come out, but, like, other things could die around here from unnatural causes and then come out that could be scarier than bears. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I have so much internet brain rot that when you said, um, we don't want to be here when the bears come out, I did. <laughs> we, we want to support the bears. The bears. <sighs> Well, bears are a very important part of the LGBTQ community. Yes, they are. Uh, yes. These, Love me some bears. These bears, are mu these bears are mutated monstrosities. So, <laughs> these, these bears. we love the bears in our community the aside from these ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, see if we can find a space that we can at least catnap, if not attempt a full rest. Because I know that's going to get fucked with. I uh, feel very rested, just for the record. Well, we don't want to travel night. at night yet. Night is not a good time to travel. Uh, unless you're desperate. You don't think it'd be fun? No. <laughs> uh, it would be trouble. I'm glad you were honest with me. He just shrugs and he just looks. I feel like he's starting to build a fire at this point. Mostly to, like, a natural way to keep some of the mosquitoes away a little bit. Um, and just as he's building it, he's just like, it's more trouble than it's worth to travel at night unless you're desperate. Uh, the mosquitoes are still kind of a nuisance. Uh, though as the sun goes down, they do kind of, um,. Start to dissipate a little bit, um, but they're still very much a presence. Uh, there is that like slight clearing around the mouth of the cave. It probably sh it stretches about fifteen feet in either direction. Um, so setting but up any is, like a hmm? a anything coming out of the cave is going to come through that clearing, and we want to avoid things that are coming back out of the cave, except for our friend. But the things in the cave, they take a while. I mean, Elith isn't done yet. 
And if we, if some of us watch the inside of the cave, then we'll see if something new is in the moth, and we can move. Yeah. Or we could watch it form in the moss. We could take watches. <sighs> uh. <laughs> I will mention if I sleep, Aurora disappears. Oh, that's okay. Just don't rely on them to be able to watch if I can't. That's okay. Cypress just nods. Ad Hoda has, has been pretty quiet, I think. Yeah. So, um, but as camp starts to get made up, they sort of help a little bit by kind of uh, using their large serpentine body to kind of tramp down some of the plant life. To sort of, Shut you know, make the, make the ground sort of as flat as possible. Yeah. Um, they are a little creepy, I will just say. <laughs> Big snake. Mm. I'm debating whether or not I want Consider, to- Consider, no they're not, they're friend-shaped. Can- Can I have Cypress well, climb one of the trees just to, like, sit in some of the boughs? Just to be up. Sure. <laughs> sure, make a climb check. Okay. <laughs> um, um. Let's see, where's my climb? Oh, he's got a plus 11. I forgot about that. Hold on. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> That's a natural 20 for a 31. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Not only can you just climb a tree, you can get so high up in this tree, my guy. Mm. Um, you can see pretty far out from up here. Um, <laughs> yes, like PK. The, as you look out over sort of the forest, um, you are just above the thick part of the canopy uh, up here, where it is quiet. And... It is sort of... You can hear the crickets as, as they go. Um... A few owl calls here and there. Um, the canopy's pretty thick, so you can't really see down. Mm -hmm. But you can see the way the mountains are sort of forming. And there's the one just behind you where the cave is sort of situated in that, again, is pretty steep behind you. You could probably climb it. It'd be kind of a nightmare, though. Mm -hmm. um, and as you look in the other direction, you can see another mountain sort of rising up in the distance. Uh, not too far away, but still steep. Steeper, even. And then you turn your gaze south. And just between the two of them, you can see a space where there is no mountainous terrain uh, that would be free and clear to walk uh, if you were to, to follow that passageway through, through the mountains. And then if you turn your gaze in the other direction, uh, the town of Summerport and the sea are just too far away for you to spot. Hmm. Gotcha. If you want any more details on anything, you'll have to make me a perception check. You know what? For funsies, well, let's roll perception. I think it's just in general, like, wasting some time until they're awake. Oh, it wasn't as good as my first roll. That's okay, though. That's my perception. That's still a 19, though. Okay. 
As you look southwards, you can see a spot in the trees that sort of, uh, the canopy sort of seems to open up a bit. Um, you can't see down into it, it's far enough away, but as you look, you can kind of, that's probably the direction the creek was heading in, and there's just this little, little opening. And further past that, off in the distance, just barely poking above the tree line, you see an odd shape, thin oh. and sort of vertical. You can just see the tip of it beyond the tree line. And as the sun sets, there's a little bit of time where the sun glints off of it. As though it's made of metal, maybe? Oh. And the sun sets further and the glint goes away. Is this direction southward? Yes. Oh, oh, oh boys, I think we found our cursed object! <laughs> Also, hello, Asterisk. Asterisk! Gee, I wonder if anybody sitting in the cave sees any motion from the moss. <laughs> What's um, in the moss? <laughs> how you doing, Asterisk? I'm doing okay. <laughs> hello. Great. Um... Welcome. Uh... You ready to jump in? Sure. <laughs> All right. Ellis. Yes. Like like with Renza at the very end of last session, you are in nothing until you are in something. And that something is water. Oh. Lovely. Um and you kick up to the surface, sort of instinctually, survival habit kicking in. And very quickly, your head breaks the surface into this, this small cave, the buzzing of mosquitoes around you. And just ahead of you, uh, you can see the opening of the cave. Um, and you can see a collection of Three people and a very large snake. Do they look like my people? They look like your people. Technically, I'm in a tree right now. <laughs> yeah, three people. Three people: Asher, Renza, and Cyrus, and then the snake, and then Cyprus is. You can't see Cyprus at the moment. Yep. <laughs> I guess I'll splash my way out of the water. Uh, hey. Those of you. Yeah. I was about to say, those of you on the ground, you hear the splashing of water, and you turn your yeah. head, and you see uh, Elif pulling themselves out of the out of the the, the water. Uh, Ren's just gonna start by it with offering a towel, and then we can deal with everything else in a bit. Didn't we die? Well, that's the thing. They say people have stopped dying, and I think they're right. Yeah, I just- I didn't remember going for a swim. No, but you did anyway. We all yeah. did. Well, not Syvis. <laughs> I accept the towel. I, I've been for so many swims in my life, I was just gonna pass. He didn't need another one. <laughs> I, I assume I can hear this, maybe? <laughs> yes. From up in the tree, you can hear this, Cypress. Cypress will repel down. Well, not really repel. I feel like he just kind of like climbs his way down yeah. pretty easy with that. I mean, it's <laughs> funny if you repel down. He just throws himself off the tree and dies in response. <laughs> no. Just like Minecraft. The old Minecraft just bed like trick, Minecraft. yeah. Just like Minecraft. Death MLG reset. water bucket. Yeah. Too bad we don't have keep inventory on, guys. 
Oh, Anyways, well, if we don't die, if we don't die stupidly, we kind of have keep inventory on. Probably. Hey guys, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> that is when I will ask you how you get your stuff back. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, this is it. why we will ask how we get our stuff back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Although in this circumstance, I don't think that's necessarily applicable. <sighs> God. Yeah, he'll just like drop down and just say, "Welcome back." Oh, gang's uh, all I'm here. Alex, you are also naked. Yep, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, and sort of off to the side, kind of like. Uh, like, in- it- not like no oh, heat. Yeah, um, away from the fire yeah. because it's a body and it's probably not good to have that hot, um. <laughs> uh, is indeed a- a body, and as you look a little closer, uh, it's yours. Oh. What? The fuck? Yeah. Uh, we apparently something about it cool back. recreates us. Um, we thought it would be better to bring it back. So that you could see it if you wanted to. So you wouldn't miss out on that. <laughs> Sorry, I love him so much! Asha is a gnome. I love him! It's so good. <laughs> so great. Here's um, the thing. Gnomes are unhinged. Yes. I immediately squat down and start poking my body. Yeah, see, I knew they'd want to look at it. Shepherd's <laughs> nods. Um, uh, I I'd want to look at mine. So, I mean, mostly to get my things, but like, you gotta weird. get your things. They're oh yeah, your well things. Fitting. You can have your things. You don't have to walk and not have your things because your things are already right here. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it is your body. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need help stripping my dead body so I can put my clothes back on? Uh, no, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my concern. Oh. I was like, wait. Um, Adhara, the, the snake person, uh, does sort of, as you are struggling with this, sort of slither over at some point to you. And very just... The others allowed me to examine their corpses. Would you allow me the same? Sure. <laughs> Nods. Um, <laughs> I like weird as I, as I As I mentioned to the others, they do not have hands. So, uh, they <laughs> manipulate your corpse- They manipulate your corpse with the- the- the, um, back- like, the- the end of their tail. I, okay, so I'm giving them hands as the next evolution I can pick. Got it. <laughs> they need it. Give snake hands. I'm, I'm loving the theme of snake of people hands. without hands in Pathfinder. No, it's a Same. recurring uh, bit, apparently. <laughs> yes. Themes. Um, and they sort of... They spent a little bit more time with Elith's body than they did with anybody else's. Um, save probably Renza's. Um... And at some point, they just kind of look at you, Elith, as you are, like, putting your, your weapons back into place. And just sort of head tilts a little. Yeah? What? I have not seen one like you in a long time. That's a little ominous sounding. <laughs> the tail sort of gestures uh, sort of over your corpse first where the, the, the wounds uh, are, where you can see some a couple bits of gray inside and then the, the small scar on your cheek. Mm-hmm. We carried most of you away already. Thank you. Nods. 
Uh, would you like a little bit of clarification? R- Renza kind of pipes up from the side. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, Cypress, I don't think, mentioned the, like, weird body thing, but uh, if other people noticed it, um, you know, th- uh, that's up to you. Uh, it is not visually distinct. Ash, uh, uh, Cypress was the only person who noticed it because uh, Cypress was the only person to touch. Uh, Elith? Um. Your body is weird, but so, Cypress is, is not going to comment on it. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> uh, Hara is one who guides the dead. Uh, it's a word for it, but it's not really my strong suit knowing the words. I just Second go off the point. instincts. Thank you. What was that? Psychopomp. Could you put that in chat, please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the, but Renzo will clarify as one who it, the ones who guide the dead, who mm. take them when they are no longer living. Which does raise a question, sort of turning to her. You said that you had me in your hands, and then I slipped away. The the mask sort of comes down and looks at you again, Renza, and nods. I was carrying you to rest. And then you were gone. There and then gone, or like something pulled me? They sort of tilt their head as if they are thinking. I must admit, I did not notice. I was not expecting you to go. Fair enough. If it happens again, I will pay more attention. Could try it out. I'll just stab him. <laughs> I'd really rather not. I-, I cannot say the experience of dying to enormous fuck you lizard was a particularly pleasant one. But no. You could try a to me. Way. I shot him in the face. Like, that you could try happen. a different way, though. <laughs> it might be better. The face journey that Renza makes. <laughs> Everyone in the party is just down to kill her. <laughs> she, she, she's a bit like. <laughs> she is not a norm. She does not understand the excitement for all new experiences. In fact, I don't think she's ever been around norms. At horror, kind of. If Renza does not wish to die, I will stop it from happening. Oh, I won't- I would never- no, I was just suggesting it as like a way to test it. If you're not interested in that, I'm not trying to pressure you or anything. I just thought it would be interesting. I mean, you could kill me and just see. We could see if it works back to back. We're not gonna kill you against your will. I would not be the psychopomp to carry you, Asha, unless Renzo was already gone. I am too yet tethered here. Well, that's interesting and cool. So does everybody get carried? Yes. Uh... Well, this whole event must be confusing a whole lot of psychopops, then. They nod. I imagine that. so. Fun. That's some of why I wanted to investigate what's going on with Summerport, is because... It doesn't ring right, things not dying. 
I mean, she she kind of scrunches her face like that's not phrased the way that quite that she wants, but it's just such an interesting, you know. You hear the rumor, the story. I mean, you can't just leave it alone. People have stopped dying. That you don't just set that down. You have to figure it out. Well, I mean, I think there's a little bit figured out. We figured out that. And he'll gesture towards the pool. Anything at its natural life cycle dies for good. I mean, you keep saying that, but then what's the definition of natural life cycle? Dying at your time. He's looking at you, like, confused, like, you don't understand? (laughs) Right, okay, dying at my time. When is my time? I would have said it was just now with the fire lizard. Yeah, not, like, not everything has a time. Like, have you ever met a lobster? Those shits (laughs) just keep going. Oh my god. I've never met a lobster, but I want to meet a lobster. What are they like? Well, they can't talk, so they're not super interesting. Um, And they do, like, pinch you. They, uh... Do you know what a crab is? Do I know what a crab is? Yeah, you've had crab to eat. I've had crab to eat. Um, well, so, they're kind of like crabs, and they have, like, the outer shell, and uh, lots of legs, but whereas crabs are kind of like pancake-shaped, um, <laughs> lobsters are not. Um, wow. they're... Okay more they've got like thin bodies with little legs on them and then they've got these real big claws um oh. and like and crabs don't have tails but lobsters do have tails i want to meet a lobster you can, you can they're in the ocean I need to go meet a lobster. Anyway, no, 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 sorry. But the, the point, see, a lobster doesn't have a time. I don't have a time besides, well, fire lizard. Mm, um. So, so, what would a time be? Well, considering it's literally just this area that seems to be affected by this. If a lobster was here and they live a very long time, then obviously they'd be immortal. I don't know. But anything outside of here... Oh, yeah. ...has a time. T, And he's gonna, like, gesture with the thing that he's been brewing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. What's it? What is it? T. Okay, but, like... What chemicals are in it? Plant ones. Okay. Look, I have two types. This one's green tea. I put charcoal in mine. Do you guys like charcoal in there? (laughs) I've never had tea, have I? Nope. I've never had tea. Oh, do you want to try it with charcoal? Sure. What's charcoal? <laughs> Cypress is going to pause. i this elf tea for no reason. <laughs> He's going to pause for a moment and just be like, Hold on, I'll prepare you something. Try it the way I, way I make it first. No. Unless you want to throw up. Um... It, what what is it? Why does it make you throw up? If you consume well, look at it. charcoal, it can make you throw up. It is the best way to get rid of some toxins if you're in trouble. It also makes tea taste good. In mm. moderation, maybe. It, he just shrugs. What? Any any quantity. You how just do you, keep how putting, do you make, putting it in there. How do you make tea? Cypress, like, at that question, he's gonna kind of- there's, like, a little bit of a smile, and he's going to go into, like, detail of what, um, 
uh, Celine had shown him how to make her tea. He's going to make that, but, like, his version, um, Mm -hmm. because the one that she had was a little more bitter, um, and not so sweet. He's actually gonna crack into the honey a little bit. Uh, the, the tea that Cypress is making is a green tea, uh, with a little bit of, uh, ginger in it. Um. Mm, tasty. And he'll even throw in a little bit of the serving of, um, what does he have? I think it's the sugared lemons? Yes. Yeah. Uh, tea, gin- ginger, a little hint of lemon. And mm-hmm. then, uh, offers a honey pot as well, uh, mm-hmm. putting a few scoops in for, for Cyvus. Um, yeah. I feel like the honey pot's like a um, one of those like ceramic ones, um, but it has been like in his pack padded with like some wool or something, so it's it's been safely tucked away in there. Um, but yeah, he'll just kind of give you a little bit of that, give it a moment to settle, and then he'll hand you the cup of tea that he's prepared, which is it's just in like a metal canteen. It's not anything fancy, but like. There's tea in there. <laughs> uh, I, I drink it. It's warm and sort of has a little bit of a bitter edge, but is kind of earthy. And the the honey sort of brings into like some really sweet high notes. It's warm. I do- I like that it's warm. Nice. That's pretty- that's a pretty good quality. Uh, um, also- I think Renza will take a cup if you are offering. Um, yes. she does kind of nurse it for a little bit, and once her hand is sufficiently warm, like, rests it on Anata. Where is... I'm trying to find... There's something with sugared lemons that... Where is it? There's a... There's a benefit to the sugared lemons. Hold on. He's not gonna use all... He did it... against scurvy? No. Um, he did it specific... Uh, he did it special for Cyvis, um, because it was your first experience with tea. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is my sugared lemons? God damn it. Um, either way, it gives you a bonus of some sort. Asha takes a cup of tea and then reaches into the fire and pulls out a stick that's already pretty charred and stirs the tea with it. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love that. Ivis watches with fascination. Um, Where is the sugar? Do you want to try? What was <sighs> Sorry, I heard a noise. Um... Sure, I'll try. Here, have a sip of mine, and then you can decide if you want to use yours. How, how is it with- how's the charcoal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, DM, I think it's bad. You can rule it however you want, but I- my ruling would be that it's god-awful nasty. Um, um because it's just been stirred with a burnt stick. Yeah, it sort of tastes- Burned? Um. Like, and is sort of. Never tasted anything burned before. <laughs> no. Um. You so can't when I burn said, things underwater. When I said the tea was bitter, there's like a good kind of bitter, right? Like the. Like the. Bitter that just kind of sits and curls on the edges of your tongue. Like, really and, dark chocolate. Yeah. Like, mm. has, like, it's bitter, but not bad. It's often, like, a like a little edge to the flavor that makes something unique. This is bitter, but bad. <laughs> bitter derogatory. Yeah. What did you say your opinion of this was? Oh, this is the best way to drink it. That I know mm. of, at least. There's probably more. Mm. I think you will probably have a better time with this. 
if I, if, you know, if I think if I drink it, it would just be like, oh, this is fine. You're going to drink this, be like, this is the best thing ever. And that's a better, better net experience for the world. That's very true. Um, mm -hmm. Ash is just going to drink the rest of their tea. Happy. Excellent. Enjoying the burnt. Mm. <laughs> Asha Burn. is absolutely feral and I love them. Yeah, I love them. Asha too. is a yeah. regular gnome. I know. Experience. I said what I said. Asha is anything but regular. <laughs> Asha no, is irregular. Is but you know. is just like this. Asha is a regular gnome. This is how gnomes be. They're they're interesting. They need experiences or they will die. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Yeah, Pathfinder gnomes are a little bit different. Um, God bless. <laughs> Asha is a regular gnome. Regular gnome, regular gnome. Um, regular gnome, regular, regular gnome. Regular gnome, regular gnome. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> and the sun sets. <sighs> it's a warm night. Um here and the the side of the mountain seems to break up any wind that you would really get hit with um if we are taking watches uh who yes is taking what watch and i want perception checks from them i'll take one that was the weirdest way to say that um you, you want perception checks and that is a threat yeah um i will watch things so will yeah, Cypress. I'll, I will take second. I'll um, take a watch. Yeah, I'll take, take second with my little guy. Uh, I we don't can care also, when I watch. Cyrus can also do a watch. If anybody wants to stay up with uh, Cyprus, they can, can sit with him. Because he'll probably be up a little I'm bit. We got six guys counting the dice, so we can do two per watch. Sure. Who who wants to go first? Because Cypress would be fine being first watch. Um. Sure. Yeah. So Cypress and Elif, uh, Renza and Edhara will have to be together if Edhara is yeah. to be here. And then Asha and Cybus for last watch. I do. Do you want to roll separately or together? First. Astro um, I'm cool with rolling separately, I guess. Sure. I got a pretty high but perception pretty separate, so. Ooh, okay. Hmm, that's alright. Not as good as it could have been. Mm. I don't know. Okay. I only rolled a 10 on the die. Cypress, you are kind of more focused a little bit on the, like, making sure that big fire lizard doesn't show fucking show up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and while you hear nothing to that regard, you aren't really focused on anything else. Yeah, I feel like he's paying attention Alice. very strongly to, like, the, the night creatures and what they're babbling on about. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alice. What up? Um, you are the one that hears uh, something small, probably some sort of like small mammal, at one point scurry out of the cave that you did not hear scurry in. Um, the fuck? But no, it is gone very quickly and does not seem to really want to fuck around with y'all. Uh, probably because it is a small mammal. Um, I think... If you seem alarmed by that, I think Cypress will, in vague terms, explain, um, just for your knowledge. It seems like creatures respawn from there also, so we are not the only ones that can respawn there. Anything that we kill or that dies by unnatural means gets reincarnated from out of the pool. So any little creature, like mosquitoes even, um, will oh. pop out of there if they were killed before their time. Um, huh. Okay. Like, if they don't die from, like, age, or maybe do we, disease. Do we know that for sure? 
uh, that's what could be gleaned, um, mostly because um, Cypress had found- there's a handout, I think. There was yep. a mosquito corpse in the water that was gorged on blood. Um, it didn't seem uh, to have drowned, but it died from natural causes. Seemingly. Okay. But we also know that, um, that there is a caveat. There was the girl who drowned in the village. Uh, who drowned in the village. Who um, never she returned. was farther away, though. She was. Yeah, she if was you die in the water, yeah. you die for real. Yeah, she. <laughs> she was on the opposite side, um, away from the northern edge. I think she was by the pier or something. Where was that? She, she drowned. drowned. Yeah, I I know. I couldn't remember exactly because there's several bodies yeah. of water. <laughs> the, there's one the, river the sea, that, that we're near that. The yeah, sea, she drowned in the ocean. Yeah, the sea is to the north. You are all to the south. Yeah, so it may it's probably proximity. Um, I also think a seven year old child, um, is not gonna be able to find their way back to the village. Yeah, so, that's also like point. the point. The toddlers, though. Come back, huh? The toddlers, though. There were there were the, the, the twins. They were the stuck. twins were older. I Teenage. Think. Yeah. The twins are older? Oh, I thought- for some reason I thought they were younger, sorry. No, yeah, those no, twins were like 14-ish, I think, and they- yes. yep. But the seven-year-old I don't think is gonna make it back to the town. Which, so, <laughs> maybe she's just in a death loop. Oh god, that's really sad. I'm, I'm, that's I'm really sure. traumatic. Hopefully I'm, she actually died the first time and isn't stuck in a death loop. Yeah, I'm choosing to believe that she had a merciful- uh, mm, that she uh, won't reincarnate just for the fact that that would be really, really sad for her. That'd be so traumatizing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, one way to test that theory is stick around for like a day. <laughs> and if yeah. she doesn't turn up, she's probably not. She's probably just dead. Yeah, I mean, there was other people that have died, I think, right, and didn't come back. She's like, the only uh, one since it yeah, started. Yeah, little girl. Uh, the town is small enough that deaths are like are like kind of events. Gotcha. Like, okay. Because there's not enough. We're people. not talking like a. Yeah, there's not enough people that like if we were talking like a bigger city, like yeah, a bunch of people would die every day, and that would be a thing. Yeah. But this is like a town of like sixty to seventy. Yeah. I get you. Makes sense. Hmm. Good clarification. But yeah, that my, my that's my that's my real theory. If you die in the ocean, you die for real. <laughs> yeah. I I like that theory actually. If you die in the ocean, you yeah. die in real life. There's two combating forces <laughs> of water. One is this pool over here that you die, you die and uh, come back. The other one is the ocean where you die in real life. <laughs> if you you have in order to successfully reincarnate, you have to make the creepy to wet transition. And if you die in the ocean, you're already wet, so you can't do it. Yep. <laughs> Um, anyway. Or... Yeah. <laughs> Wet topic um, aside. That first- the first watch still passes relatively with, uh, ease. Um. Nice. The second watch, Renza and Arhara, um, again, it's quiet. Um, just sort of you two sitting on the edge of camp. Um, Edhada is sort of like has part of their body pressed up against your back, kind yeah. of. Yeah. One, using you as a heat source, and two, letting you use them as a chair. And this is a very this is a very familiar position, I think. Yeah. Um, chair time. And they are quiet, like they are. Uh, always, unless you speak to them. Yeah. I think there is one question she is gonna ask. Mm hmm Besides the obvious difference of the fact that 
the me that I am now is breathing, were there any differences between my body and how I am now that you could find? You do not bear your death wounds. A relief, but mm. strange. You do not smell dead. Little head nod of acknowledgement. Couldn't find any magic mm. on the pool. Hmm. There Seems we might be searching for a while. There are great necromancies, but they are all magical of nature. Then leave a stain on the world. Nods. Whether they are of the resurrective sort or the undead sort. If it was magic, I think even I would have been able to feel it. Do you think it might spread? I think it is already spreading. How long do you think things in this forest have been dying and coming back? She sort of pauses and mulls that. Based on what the town said, at least a couple of years. And yet the people have only stopped dying in the last few months. I do not know if Cyprus is all is completely right when they say everything has a time to die. I do not know of fate or destiny. I do know that everything does die. Or should. She's just gonna reach a um, little hat and let, let it mull and see if any theories kind of start taking shape. But I think we need more information before that's possible. Adhara just kind of returns to their silence. Yeah. And your watch passes quietly. Five is an Asha. Oh yeah, baby, it's time for the object havers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Objects ah. and items! Objects. And item. Fucking. Require oh. perception checks. I love the Mary. He's a baby. That was he bad. Is a Hold on. Wait, I didn't realize that we were being allowed to see him. Wait, who pets. are we viewing? We're in the pet channel. <gasps> oh my goodness! Hello! So sleepy. <laughs> I don't know if cat cam is allowed during game, so I just cat said- cam, cat, cat cam is allowed. Always. Yes, cat Always. cam is allowed. Bless. Unless it's a pivotal roleplay moment, or uh, an otherwise- yeah. uh, <laughs> Cat cam always allowed and preferred. <laughs> cat cam required, even. It's it's a needed. Uh, uh, yeah. God, brain soup. Sorry. Necessary. Oh my god, he's so cute, and for what? Oh he's my kisses. god, that's so cute. I want to him. Oh. oh. He's so baby. Oh, he's my little boy. Oh, must give kisses. Oh, my heart is melting. <laughs> oh my god! I can tell that he's purring too, with just the way his stomach is moving. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, he loves to give kisses. And chew on my finger. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. He's got to clean That's you. True. Chomp, chomp. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, now you can watch him sleep on my desk like a baby. Yeah. And attack my mouse whenever I move it. <laughs> oh. Mochi does that too. Oh. Fierce predator. <laughs> clean foot. All right. Uh, Back perception, to do I have Yes. Yes. Sorry, this. Uh, you are, like... This place is wild, dude. <laughs> Fucking... Not only is it, like, dry up here, and there's all these big trees and shit, like... This is not what you thought the surface would be like. Like, at all. This is whack. Um, yeah. And you kind of don't know what to make of it, and that's why I think you have a 10 perception at the moment. Uh, Asha. Yeah. That's my name. Um, you too hear something at some point, like a little lizard kind of like do the pet, <laughs> like, scra like scrabbling uh, sort of things up and out of the cave and into the dark. Uh, but a very small lizard. Um, Little lizard. I'm I'm thinking of like the TikToks of like bearded dragons on hardwood floors. Yes. Like, scrabble, scrabble, scrabble. <laughs> um, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, but other than that, nothing comes to accost you. I love when there's nothing to accost us, and also when the dragons goes across the floor. Yeah! I like all of these things. And if there is no conversation, the sun rises peacefully. I think there's conversation, but it's all about lobsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I I think I think Sivus gives every detail of lobsters that he knows, um, and also yeah. probably a lot of details about. We probably talk a lot about cr underwater crustaceans. Um, yeah, and I think it's also 
I think I think it's also important that um, Asha is like hearing and absorbing all the information Sinus is giving her. Um, it it doesn't understand what a lobster looks like. Not really. Um, it doesn't. It, it's not conceiving correctly of the shape. Um, so she's going to be really surprised when he meets the lobster for the first time. <laughs> Love it so much. God bless. Uh, Parker, I I'm starting to think that Freya and Cybus should either never meet or absolutely should. God bless. Uh, for context, Freya is my ocean cleric who bonds with people by telling them ocean facts. Nice. <laughs> Best friends. Uh, he has no thoughts in his head besides the ocean. Looks like we found another. Nice. <laughs> it's just ocean in there. Um, I I think if we, if we wake in the morning and it's like you know we're starting to pack up or whatever, um, Cypress would kind of like motion in the direction that he'd seen that like metal pillar sort of thing, whatever that glint of shiny was. Mm -hmm. And mention it to the party and just say that he saw that as he was on top of the trees. <laughs> kind of scoping it. It's further south. Mm -hmm. Unless we wanted to head back to the village now to show them or tell them where this location is. But. I mean, we probably should try to find a route back to the village so that it can. Yeah, so that they can bring supplies for other people who wake up, though? Hmm. I want to uh, go look at a fire this <laughs> Well... Would I know in that direction, would that have been, like, where the river was heading? Like, where that... Where I had scoped the tracks earlier of the fire lizard, or would I not be able to tell? Uh, the- the tracks of the fire lizard were heading south. Well, if you're really determined- It's almost like the plot is south. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're very determined- We- we know the plot is south, we're gonna head there, but we- but we have the initial quest marker of- <laughs> We gotta do our side quests! <laughs> Other people. Or sent the Meyer set to go find the cave and find a way to the cave and put things in the cave. And. Well, we could go back for if, the reward. If we. We don't know what we're doing yet. We haven't. We haven't worked any of it out. I think we need to at least see if the fire lizard comes back. They did ask us to figure out how this is happening. Maybe yeah. that strange metal pillar or whatever it was is an answer. That too. Fire lizard first. It's on the way. There we go. It's the perfect plan. Go. We see a fire lizard. We kill a fire lizard. And then we go find out what else is happening. At the little metal thing. I'm quite hoping that it's the first thing we meet instead of the creature. I mean, what's it gonna do? Kill us? Yes. But will it matter? I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily enjoy dying. Oh, I didn't enjoy it. It was just so interesting. He nods at that. He definitely seems to mean it, too. <laughs> Still, it's a waste of time. 
Well, okay. Well, I don't intend for us to go there and die. Then maybe we shouldn't mess with the lizard yet. I want to kill a lizard. <laughs> I want to kill a lizard. I think that's only fair. The lizard killed us. No, trust me, I'm thinking the same thing. I very much want to kill the lizard too, but I would rather not die yet. Again. So step one is don't die, step two, kill the lizard. What if the lizard kills us again? It's going to, probably. It, It won't. We- what- are you sure? I think it- I think it's just a lizard. I a mean, fire breathing lizard. A big sure, one. Sure, yeah. It breathes fire. I feel invigorated by that. I feel even better at doing everything I do than I was before. I think we just sneak up on the lizard and let, let think about it this way. Last time the lizard snuck up on us and it killed us. This time we sneak up on the lizard. We kill the lizard. I mean, I think that ends badly for all of us. I think it ends so well with the lizard dead and us not dead. I mean, either way, it ends with us not dead. Parker, would I know if a bear trap would be helpful in that sort of situation? If I set a trap, would would that be a good idea? (laughs) Um, like, yeah, probably. Bear trap the lizard. Just like they he, do with bears. He he will mention that he does own a singular bear trap, which is strapped to his uh his pack now that he mentions it. It was like kind of covered with like uh one of those like tent tarp things or like a bedroll or something. Um does have a bear trap and several trap making um objects. <laughs> oh chomp! Chomp from kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing violence? Because he must. He's a <laughs> oh. Hello, sir. Hey. Um. <laughs> he wants to be a criminal when he grows up. And he should. He is. <laughs> but yeah, that is. Um. We can start heading toward Pillar if, if we so choose, I suppose, right? <laughs> About what distance would we guesstimate the Pillar to be? Pretty far. Uh, it depends on the terrain of the forest. Um, you might be able to get there in the day. But if we happen to stop on the lizard on the way... <gasps> Shh! He's going to, like... He's gonna look you in the eye, and he's just going to say, If we see the lizard, we can fight the lizard. But don't oh, go out of you. your... Quiet. Please. <laughs> He's gonna, like, hold up a hand. It looks like this- he does not have, um, people skills. <laughs> uh, <sighs> and he's just going to be, like, Don't go looking for it specifically until we get to the pillar. If we happen upon it beforehand, sure, but if you're just gonna go running after it, I'm not going to run after it with you. I'm not gonna go running after a lizard, but if we see the lizard, that's what I just said. If we see the lizard... If it hasn't seen us, we don't attack it, alright? No, 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 but if it hasn't seen us, that's the perfect time to attack it. Because then it hasn't seen us. And we yeah, have then the we attack it. Thoughts. Then we attack it and it sees us. So we have to, like, kill it before it sees us. Before it, like, reacts. And I don't know if we can do that. We would need I time mean, to set a trap of I some sort, at least. Can I do something that will keep it from being able to follow us and 
probably attack us. How tall was the fire lizard? Uh, a good double or more your height. Oh, okay. I just feel like everyone's being very almost pessimistic about this lizard thing. Because it killed us. Really I lasted quickly. a full 18 seconds. <laughs> That's less than half a minute. Yeah, but it's not really that much longer than I think it would take. I think if we... That's less than a third of a minute. Well, thank you. Your arithmetic really added a lot here. God. Either way, our chances not so good. Well, if we're we not also surprised and injured. killed immediately, which we were, if we are the ones surprising it. <sighs> we can talk about a lot of it scenarios. If it comes after us, we can try and kill it. I don't care. Let's just try and get to Nobody's an object. Really taking into account the fact that we don't die anymore. It is still a little bit nerd. Look, I would like to avoid dying. Who knows when that's going to run out. Maybe it won't, maybe it will. I don't want to take that chance. But, that doesn't mean I'm going to shy away from attacking something. If it comes All to being right. in danger or not, I'm not saying I won't do it. I'm just saying don't provoke it if we don't need to. Why would I provoke a fire lizard? I have a feeling you would. I would, but why would I do that, really? Because, he because you think it might be fun? No, fun is the wrong word to use. It's because you want to kill a fire lizard. I just think it'd be a good story, and I am interested in good stories. Well, if you want to tell good stories, you shouldn't die about it. It's not really a matter of my own life or death, so... He just shrugs. I'll, I'll count on the fact that I'll keep coming back, and I won't chase after the fire lizard. But if we see it, we should kill the fire lizard. Sure. <sighs> you, you do get a thumbs up, I think, at that point. Oh, that's fun. Ashley gives a thumbs up back. <laughs> Cypress is just gonna so kinda... onward towards the strange spire. Yeah, I think Cypress will try to All end right. this one since he knew where it was, sorta, kinda. Cypress is our navigator. <laughs> I do have a compass, is the thing. <laughs> Cypress is our navigator. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Dinosaur lead party. <laughs> Roll another survival check for me, please. Okay. This time I can't add my track bonuses. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not that good, but it's alright. Um, 17? Okay. Uh, with your compass and the remains of uh, Sivus's trail from yesterday, um, following it back to the, to the, to the creek is not very hard. And then from there, south is pretty much with the creek. Um, the... As you walk, the, the two mountains that you had seen sort of hemming in this passageway do kind of like grow and you find them looming over you more and more with each passing hour. Um, It's not like a tiny passage, but at the, at, at the choke point, it becomes maybe 40, 50 feet wide. 
And at the choke point, you see a little bit ahead of you that clearing that you had spotted earlier, Cyprus, where the creek sort of runs down between a few rocks, sort of gently gurgling, disappears under the ground, and then there is a lake in front of you. More water. <laughs> yes. Or rather, it's not really a lake, but more of a large pond. Um, Alright. How... It takes up a good... It takes up a good bit of the middle of this choke point. And there, sunbathing on a rock. Lizard? He's a very familiar lizard. No! <laughs> there it is! No, we can't. We can't. Hi. Well, he's gonna look at, uh, Asha. I guess you, you get have your no, wish. No words to describe how excited this gnome looks right now. <sighs> no. Can we? I would like to use my traps for this at some point, maybe. <laughs> I have a singular bear trap. If we can lead it toward that, maybe it'll do some damage. I'm, I'm not participating. <laughs> you guys can die again. That's fine. Uh, so, out of character, the urge to start screaming, like just, just, just start screaming at the lizard to do damage to it, is so strong right now. But I won't. Um, do, is there any possibility that we could try to potentially make our way around? Yeah, I was gonna ask. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Uh, well, you now have a map. I oh, like that thing in the middle. That's cool. Um, up to you. You have to try. Hmm. So we're on this map? Okay, we're down now. Hmm. Oh, we aren't oh, able to on. see the, um, the, pi the, the metal thing, right? Or... Uh, not from here, no. The, um, the foliage is still too thick. <sighs> He's gonna just quietly to to Cyrus and just be like, "Do you want to proceed forward?" If we ignore the creature, for now. Sorry, Hello? Not? Hmm? Did you oh yes, I, I, I asked about um I, I was asking Cybus um if we proceed forward and ignore the creature. Is that good? <laughs> yes, please. He's gonna look at More. um our dear gnome friend. Asha, can you hold it in until later? Interesting. Amazing. If you do that, we can set a very gratifying trap and kill it that way. I'm interested in the shooting. But sure. Let's sneak past. Um. If there's any way that we can find that can be like a roundabout way, it might take longer. But um, uh, is there is there any way we can find? Theoretically, like we can follow the outer edge of the pond around this way and use the foliage as cover. Yeah, I was either thinking like actually going like further. Not here, but like to our right, be like behind it, like yeah, like this way instead of this way because I feel like it'll be able to see us through the foliage moving across its eyesight. If we're going behind it, it might not so, notice us in the dark. It's not gonna notice us if we're closer to it. Yeah, 
Because I was thinking, like, go towards the right here a lot more, like, off the map. <laughs> to try and avoid it. Um, if it comes after us, it comes after us, but, like... Mm. If we get it in the trees, it'll have a little less movement to get around, hopefully, maybe? Uh. <laughs> or we could have that and distance. Yeah. I just- I'm hoping that it would think that we're, like, a different creature or something if it does hear us later. Um, but hopefully it won't? <laughs> How good at stealth are you guys? <laughs> I think we're all pretty good, actually. Right? We're at best. I'm mediocre. Okay. Uh, okay. Not amazing. Um, I have skill ranks in it and points in it. I got a plus ten, so... Same. Yeah. I have a plus four. That's not bad. Uh, plus yeah. Two. So, are we trying to sneak around or are we just going ham? <sighs> I would love to sneak. Okay. I would. I don't want to die. Could Cypress try and cut us a path, like, choose one for us to walk, and, um, try and cut us through, I guess? Further away? So the problem with that <sighs> is that this is a pretty, pretty, like, tight choke point mm, on yeah. the path. Class. Uh, there is space between the pond and either side, um, you would make, make me, need to make me a survival check, Cypress, and everyone would have to make me a stealth check. <laughs> oh boy, do we want it? Mm, do we want to chance it? I, I just think that we should kill a lizard. This is out of character. Mm. We're gonna die. Well, we can uh, try okay, and kill it. But I feel like the DM isn't gonna put us into a choke point we can't get past. If it's yeah. not boss I think we should try and kill it, honestly. Like, Cypress will try uh, and get us around, but, like, I feel like we should sneak closer, but, like, be prepared to fight it, if you know what I mean. Because there's no way we're gonna yeah. avoid it, necessarily. This guy is just sitting here. <laughs> He's just uh, He's yeah. having a good old lizard time. Yeah. <laughs> I would love yep. him to continue having a good old lizard time, unfortunately. I would like, however, um, because this lasts an hour, uh, Cypress is gonna do him, him wild shape now. He, him become mm. dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosuchus time! Or not Dinosuchus, Di Dinonychus time, baby. So... I get that for an hour. Fuck you. <laughs> um. Dynamicus moments. Yeah. When when he become dinosaur, am I right? I get a plus fifteen to my stealth now. When men <laughs> are dinosaurs. Still the same same um, height though. I'm a medium creature. <laughs> Like, okay, here's here's my proposed strat. If we try to sneak around it at a great distance, it has fire breath, and we are limited in ranged options, or at least some of the party is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't if have any If we try range. to sneak around it, and we're closer to it, we might still wake it up, yes. But at least we are in a better position to actually attack it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my tactical strat. I think we should, in general, sneak closer. Um, but we should be ready to um, get 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 his ass. <laughs> yes. Did we get a sense for how big its fire breath was? Uh, yeah. Um. be about 15 20 feet okay um, yeah, in a cone shape 
if we give it a 20 foot berth, and it might be smart to spread out as we go. So yeah, it can't as catch much all as we of can. Us in a flame breath. Like mm -hmm. I say, we spread out as much as we can as we go. So are we trying to attack it, or are we trying to get past? Uh, we should attack it, I think. Alright, because otherwise I'd say we should go around the other side, because fire lizard plus water. Probably not great for lizard. Mm. It would give us- it would give it more of a chance to be able to hit us. I mean, hmm. I could have- you know what? What I'm thinking is I could have Cypress go this way and you guys could go the other way. And it has to split its attention between people. <laughs> I, I know it's a little bit risky, but like... If it can't fire breath one side, it can not do it to the other- like, I, I don't know. That's, that's just my thought. Cypress can move 60 feet, um... <laughs> I mean, who else needs to be melee? I definitely the snake. Uh, the snake. Yeah, but I also don't know how much the snake is going to be sticking around, because... Yeah, that breath got him right, right away, right? Uh, no, it was uh, Renza dying. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Um... <laughs> The snake does, but if I summon anything else, the snake disappears anyway, so it's kind of much of a... Okay, but does Renza need to be close to things to... Um, like, is she, can she summon things at a distance? As in, could she put her summons far away from herself? Does Renza uh... need to be close to the fire lizard? Is she on that list of people? She needs to be about 30 feet, within 30 feet of it, to be able to drop things on it. Okay. So... So yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll be honest, I also do my best work on the closer end of if I had to rate Fire Lizard versus non-Fire Lizard. If I want to sneak attack it, then I should be close. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think Still I think we collectively do better up close. We don't yeah, at least for now. Hmm. There is something possibly fucked up I could do to somewhat ruin its day and keep it from being able to attack us. create pit right under it, because the pit ends up... That'd be so funny. <laughs> that'd be so funny! <laughs> Wait, that'd be so funny. It's uh, right on the edge the water could flow into the pit. Drown the lizard. <laughs> uh, two caster levels, so... Um, it would be a 20 foot deep pit. Put him in <laughs> the pit. <laughs> Would I know- would I know that this type of lizard could climb? <laughs> well... Um, make a nature? <laughs> oh wait, I'm a dinosaur. Do I keep my mental stats with wild shape? I can't remember. You I believe you do. You said a nature check? Yes. Let's see, where the hell- That's only a 12. <laughs> I rolled a three on the die. <laughs> yeah, but like, it's a lizard. It can climb. <laughs> but, crucially, hit. It's got water a climb speed. It. Yeah. Water push it back into the pit. <laughs> yeah. It is quite a high DC to climb out of the pit. Um. 
You get like a, a quiet snort from the the uh fucking Donaticus, um and like the feathers kinda like lift up a little bit and then relax back down. <laughs> um God, he wants to go. He wants to kill the thing now. He's been egged on. Mm. <laughs> I want to start sneaking off to the side if we can. I I think yeah. that's what's going on. I, I He's going to leave it up to you guys if you want to follow or uh, go the opposite way. He'll start yeah. with sneaking for those of us who need to get up close, and then we try to ruin this lizard's day. Yeah. Won't the lizard come back to life in the pool? It will, but it takes a bit. We don't have bosses respawn. Yeah. Well, we'll have to deal with that when time comes. <laughs> that just hit um, me. This lizard's gonna be out for blood. Yeah. I mean, we are also, so it might just be a kill loop. Lizards are reptiles. They don't know. They Like, they can't hold a grudge. It's fine. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. I've had some lizards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you over here with stealth check? Yes. yes! Okay, so that's a... What is my... Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sending that to... I'm gonna send that to quotes, by the way, PK. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're welcome. Please remember that I'm doing this all high. Yes. Oh, bitch, I wanna join! Oh, I, that's even you more... You should. Kristen, I forgot you about D&D, and then I was like, I'm, now I'm high, and it's time to play Pathfinder. Kristen, just give me half of a row. Just give me half a row of brownies. God. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh look at that stuff. Oh, PK, look at how that. many? PK, how much edibles was two massive bags? Oh, I didn't count them. I gave half of them to Kyla though, so now I've just got the one, and it's all like, um, gummy things. Oh, I wish my body didn't hate those. <laughs> I'm not eating this entire brownie. Oh my god. <laughs> That's Do a lot of brownie. Have a nice. No, I'm, I'm eating half a row. About two inches. That's all you That's need. That's still incredible. <laughs> um, but... Uh, this thing is, uh, fucking Saliba. Um... Sniz. And as we such... all roll uh, real well. That was yeah. good. Fucking beefs its perception check. I need to... Uh, as you all start to make your way up, this thing is still just fucking... Sunbathing, dude. I want to hide at least within 20 feet of this thing. Well, maybe not 20 feet. Let's say, like, I have 60 feet of movement. I'll hide, like, there. In yeah, y'all can, like, get up, like, within, like, 10, 20 feet. All I need is that 20 feet to make my attacks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking distances because I need to be within 30 of it. Before we do any shit, I'd like to take a second to cast resistance on myself. Okay. Um, also, I will say, I don't think we should do combat tonight because I gotta go to bed at like in 20 minutes yeah. or less. <laughs> yeah. Mary, no, no, no weed brownie for cat. Oh, no, she wants yeah. the weed brownie. I'm trying to show off how big this is. Oh, it is That's very big. That's the strongest, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, I'm. 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 I'm ready to go. Very good. Vibes. I never thought about this when I first clocked off. <gasps> you all creep steadily towards this thing, and it is completely unaware of your existence. Um, and as you get closer, you notice, yeah, it just kind of looks like a lizard, but really big and red. Like, it doesn't look like a fire, like a, like a, like a dragon or anything. Just like a guy. 
Um, little dude. I know what I mean. Yeah. Um, I know what like you mean, one, too. That's a guy right there. Like, one of the ones that you'd find, like, if you lifted a rock, like, in a forest, and, like, it scuttles out from underneath and, like, runs away, right? Like, it's, like, one of those little guys. But just huge. Big guy. Guys, I've got a fun yeah. new theory about the pool. It just, it mutates them larger. If you die enough times, you become large. Perhaps. Um, uh, uh, unfortunately, Parker, I am imagining when you say it's just a guy that when you lift a rock, you see it, but it's big. I am <laughs> just imagining uh, a, a fucking frill neck. Who are just a guy lizards you can find here. I mean, like, American just a guy lizards. You're- you I know, I- 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 Hey! Look, Frodex are really fucking cool, though. They are, uh, but your continent is a death continent. Um, and those of <sighs> you that are closer to the, um, to the pond, you can see sort of- the water is very clear here, actually, and you can see sort of down inside of it bones. Like a skeleton. Is it a cool skeleton? In the water. Hmm? I was being a dork. I said, is it a cool skeleton? It yes. is a cool skeleton. Um, sort of sunk in um, long dead, probably, considering how picked clean it is. But around it, you can see that same bed of plush moss along the bottom of the pool. Of the, of the pond. Mm, moss... The skeleton looks it, like it had emerged from the moss at some point. Or at least is lying on top of it. And it's starting to grow up and over it. And you are 20 feet away from this thing that had killed you. About a day ago. And that's where I'm going to call session. Yeah. <sighs> Creature! <laughs> We're going to kill that lizard so good, you guys. <laughs> so if, if I can nail it with a sneak attack, can would you guys prefer I lower its AC by two or its attack by two? 